look at that entry hole. Oh, six millimeter did a number on it. Yeah, it's the first test without it actually being wrapped up. I was just seeing how it would work. I figured this would be a good check, but uh, I think. Oh, wow. Yep. I'd say that's a good load to use. For what it did to the box. All right, we're back out here. I got the six before five. I'm testing what I'm trying to make a new hunting load out of. Uh, my go-to loads for this is typically 70s, uh, 85s, uh, 100 grain CR Pro Hunters. These are 95 grain SSTs. Um, the other day I was testing them. I was getting inch, inch and a half, inch, inch and a half. It wasn't as consistent as I was really hoping. Uh, out of this 20 inch AR Stoner uh, 6x45 barrel, uh, 1 8 twist, I'm um, getting uh, 2500 with 24 grains of H335. So, way faster than I thought I was going to get. And I got the block out there. I shot it the other day. It did not work out. Um, kind of skipped out the side. Did real good damage. I did recover the bullet, 67.1 grains retained weight after I dug it out of a log. So this time I have the block set up plus the uh, a water jug as a backstop. So I'm hoping oh, that'll work. See if I can land a center shot. The gun is not actually zeroed for these bullets. Uh, it's still zeroed for the 100 grand here Pro Hunter uh, plinking load that I had uh, done up with the benchmark. Let's see if I can get a center shot on this. Alright, so there's my shot. Now my practice shot at this distance was just to the left too, and all my other uh, load development was just to the left. But that's where it ended. Went through the entire block, come out the back of the block, through this, and this was my water shield. And in to my water jug. I'm looking at bullet. enough penetration exit the other side of the deer this is a hundred yards you know accuracy's there the speed's there bullet construction's holding together uh, check the block uh, I'll show you the footage from the other day as I add it all together and clean up out here So I came out of there, forward, left, some copper as a bit. This is my practice shot, so I'm going to right here. Alright, there's our entry hole, 6 by 4 5 24 grains of H335, there is our bullet. Currently, it retained 72.8 grains out of the original 95. Here's the one from the other day. Kind of slightly off to one side of the block, but still in the block. And we'll go ahead and try to cut down the middle here. I did soften the block a little bit to make it a little less brittle than it was uh, 
the one I shot at last time, because last time a block broke and I ended up losing a chunk, plus I didn't have it wrapped. It was the first time I tried shooting it without it being wrapped, which I don't suggest. Put it right down where I believe the loon trap goes. First look at what that 95 will do. A little different result this time around than the last time. Last time it opened a lot quicker. It seemed to have a little bit more of a delay. Starts opening it up. You can start seeing where the force comes up, about an inch, but the main large cavity doesn't start to about an inch and a half. Came out the back of the block, which is 12 and a half inches long, traveled, hit a piece of wood, and then into my water jug. Main part of the channel, we're looking at, to right here is seven inches, where it really starts to streamline is well over eight. And then as it exits out the block, this half, about an inch and a half, stays an inch and a half, goes down to about an inch at the seven inch mark. This half is over an inch deep, and on that half, it's over an inch deep. So, as you can see, you can actually see where the pedals, as it lost lead. And started shedding as it went on through. Came all the way, streamlined, and then exited. That exit still just under a half inch on that side. So definitely had a lot of energy. Definitely opened up on a lot of energy. Made this very nice cavity. It's quite interesting. Now, I've never recorded the 100 grain Sierra Pro Hunters, but for a 100 grain Sierra Pro Hunter, the cavity opens much sooner. Your main cavity is roughly about the same size, but when it streamlines, it streamlines. So just keep that in mind. This SST retains a little bit more of its weight and definitely penetrates deeper. So that was the point of trying the SSTs over the Sierra Pro Hunters. Accuracy, inch, inch and a half, but that's the type of cavity you're going to get. I just think that's kind of interesting. You can see where the pedals actually rip off as it sends it down through. You can see chunks of lead scattered all the way up through here. There is a chunk of lead right there 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 and right here i believe is part there it is there is the chunk of polymer tip and i say chunk because it's not actually a complete piece anymore so this is the permanent cavity as it came through that shock wave went well beyond that that's quite interesting well, time to melt it down and do it again.